Hey folks, Mike and McGee here. On the last video, you watched us grind some white corn and make some awesome cornbread. That was Trucker's favorite corn, and that is what we are growing. And what we're gonna show you here today is what we're growing. Now, I've got several fields of this growing, and I've done some experiments, and I've planted in all different times. So what I'd like to show you is basically this, how the corn does when it's properly cultivated, versus how it does when it's not cultivated at all, and fertilization versus not fertilizing at all. And some of this corn, such as this right here, did not receive any fertilize except for clover. We've got clover out here growing beautifully, and when we plow that under, it just gives it the nitrogen, and you can see what awesome corn we have here Great big tall corn. Uh, Mr. Caleb, can you get me that tape measure? Buddy, we want to measure this right quick. People don't believe how tall this stuff gets. Now, as you see, it's not done growing. These ears aren't even, ain't barely started. Just barely have they started. When, when the ears have barely started, the tassels have just formed, it still lacks a few feet to grow. Now, let's just see, for example, how tall this one is. This is one of my taller ones. I think I've got even taller than this, but we'll hold this up there and we'll measure down to the ground. And it's it's not that easy to do. So, Caleb, does that look like that's up to the top of it? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Now let's push it. Oh, I can't reach. I gotta do this. Okay. Now, is that right up there? Mm, yeah. Okay, I see what it is, and it is 134 inches. That is 11 foot 2 inches. So it's not done growing, and it's already 11 foot and 2 inches. That is pretty amazing. And it's, it's just now putting on the ear, and we got a little dry spell. It's a little bit dry right now, but the beautiful thing about cultivation, it doesn't, it's, it's still doing okay, even though it's dry. And we are expected to be getting some rain. I can feel the humidity making moisture on my forehead right now. We, we probably have rain coming. But anyway, I'm going to take you over to show you a couple other fields. If you'll look right over there, that is the field where I started putting the ribbons out for the squirrels. And beyond that is the first field that I planted when I was dealing with frost. Frosted my plants. I was able to save them but I had planted those too narrow and I could not get my cultivator in. And so I figured simple fertilization will take care of that. Let's go see what happened. Now this corn here never received fertilized either. It was fertilized with clover. I guess you could say it was fertilized, but the thing about it was I was able to keep it cultivated and keep the weeds pretty well out of it. It looks pretty good. So, it's nice and tall. The color is there. It looks nice and dark. I believe it's going to make a crop. Now let's go back here and look at some that I had to fertilize and I was able to cultivate it as well. All right, this is corn that was fertilized. Now this is new ground. This ground hasn't been worked or cultivated in years. If I understand right, the old timers told me there was corn here about 40 or 50 years ago, but now as you can see, it's grown up in trees and woods and what little bit we cleared we finally were able to throw some corn in but it didn't have any clover it didn't have anything to fertilize it and it was a pretty yellow so we fertilized it and we cultivated it and it is going to make a crop look at this this is looking good this right here is some more kind of corn it has just barely started shooting some ears up it's got a real stalk to it and it's just starting to tassel and you can tell this field is looking good now it's a small field it ain't gonna make just a bunch but it's gonna make some every little bit helps when you're feeding pigs and cows and things so let's go look at some more corn I'll show you some that did not receive any cultivation but it was fertilized this right here folks is the difference between cultivated and not cultivated. Now this corn was fertilized with, uh, what did I, I can't remember what I fertilized it with, but it was probably triple 19 or something like that. That did not make a difference. 
fertilization without cultivation did not work for me. It might work for you. Now I understand the no-till method because they spray it, they kill everything else, there's no competition. But if you raise corn that's, say it's open pollinated, it's not Roundup ready, you can't spray over it. If you don't cultivate, you're not gonna make a crop. Now we might get a few little ears out of it, but it's not gonna make a good crop. It's yellow looking. It's not near as green, it's not near as tall, it's not near as healthy. So this, this field got hit by frost and it got, you know, it, it, was, it was a little bit stunted. And that happened, you know, uh, in May, you would have thought that it would have been safe to plant, but it wasn't. Now, the corn that we planted four, three or four weeks later after this, is much bigger and much better and much further along. So that tells me it's better to wait till you got the heat units to drive that corn. Heat that soil, it comes out of the ground and it don't look back. It is growing and a going. Now over at the house we planted, the field that you watched us plant was a lot later. It was early June, mid June. It's not up near as tall as this about a month behind it's about oh three feet tall it's around three and four feet tall so but it's coming on and it was cultivated properly and it won't need fertilization because it had soybeans in it last summer and and crimson clover in the spring so it definitely is fine and it's looking good now over at another spot I've got some corn that I'm trying to start seeds and get seeds propagated and I don't even know the name of it it's a yellow corn it's called, it is from Guatemala and I'm excited to get it started because I really liked what I saw in it last year the fella that grew it gave me some and I'm really excited to try it now we had to cultivate it and fertilize it it did not look good at all but I believe I got it in time I think it's gonna make it also we have some hickory cane corn growing that is a huge seed. It makes a big white kernel and it's awesome corn. And so we have a field of that growing as well. If you can't tell, I love to grow corn. And it really, it's awesome when you're, if you're gonna feed your animals, you gotta have it. So I just thought I'd show you this, not only just updating what we're doing here, but also showing you the difference. Some, I have seen some guys try to raise corn without cultivation. This here was just a tiny little plot. I thought, well, I can't really cultivate it. I'm just gonna see if it'll fertilize and work out. And you see the difference. So guys, if you've got a cultivator that you can put on your tractor, use it. If you're making a small garden, you can use a garden tiller and it'll work just fine. But just get it cultivated. It needs it. It really needs it. And you only have to do it about two or three times and the corn is up so tall it shades it out and you're good to go. So anyway, we're going to get on out of here. We appreciate you watching this video. We'll see you on the next video.